Hi everybody, so I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately and I've been running across the Christmas tag and it's so interesting to hear everybody's different uh, responses to the questions and I thought mm, maybe something fun to answer um, since you know I've been hearing a lot of random responses I figured I'm sure I can throw my random responses in the mix too so I hope you enjoy. The first question, what's your favorite holiday movie? Um, this is weird because to be honest, I don't have a favorite holiday movie. I really don't have not got, never gotten into those Miracle on 34th Street or It's a Wonderful Life or is that even a Christmas movie? Um, or like The Christmas Story, that one annoys me to death. So like The Polar Express, I do like, you know, those cartoons, Frosty the Snowman. I mean, when they're on, I'll, you know, I'll leave them on TV, but it's there's not one that I crave that I need to see, you know, all the time. So yeah next question what's your favorite Christmas color that's a hard one I think it's silver um, I like the green and red but I just love silver so it just reminds me you know silver grayish snow kind of um, sparkly anything sparkly is good Christmas color to me uh, next question do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up for Christmas well my family celebrates um, well, the whole family on Christmas Eve, and for that we do dress up. We go to Mass, we go to evening Mass, and then we go to um, my grandmother's and we are dressed up from church. Sometimes we'll end up putting on our slippers and stuff, and some, you know, some do change, but for the most part we're pretty dressed up. Um, on Christmas Day, on the other hand, um, no, we are in our PJs for like the whole day, and it's total lounge day, which I absolutely love. It's the best. Next question, if you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? Wow, that is a very difficult question. I would normally say my mom, but since I just got married in November, I'd have to say it'd be my husband because it's our first Christmas together as a married couple, so he would definitely be the one I'd give my gift to. Um, but that would be hard. I would rather not give anybody... I'd rather give everybody happy thoughts and wishes than only have to give one person a gift. So, next question. Um, do you open your presents Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Actually, we do both. My family, you know, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, we all get together Christmas Eve and we open our presents at midnight on Christmas Eve. But then we go home and um, Santa brings us our gifts and we open them in the morning. So our my immediate, you know, my mother, sister, um, father, we we wait and we open them Christmas morning when we wake up. And what's funny is that, um, yeah, we still have to go to bed early and we still have to, I mean, not, no, I'm sorry. We don't go to bed early. Um, we're still required to hurry up and go to sleep as soon as we get home and then I can hear Santa putting out my gifts. We're not allowed to peek until the morning and we have to wait till everybody's up. And it's so funny that my mom still does that even though me and my sister moved out and it's been like a year since, I mean, it's been, that was our first Christmas that we were gone last year. And we still had to go first thing in the morning to my mom's and we had to wait for everybody to get there and then we opened our presents. So anyway, that's a, like a long answer, but we do both. Okay, next question. Um, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yes, we have. And actually, um, two Christmases ago, we did that. And, you know, we're all, pretty much in my family, we're all adults now. There's not really any, well, now there's children, but two years ago there weren't. And so we were kind of getting bored, like, we have dinner at 8, we have to wait till midnight to open the gifts. We need to start coming up with some games and stuff. So my sister decided to buy all this candy. She bought, um the pre-made ginger um, you know, like to make the shell of the house and we did royal icing and she bought enough for everybody to do their own little um, house and we had like little cardboards and it was just the funnest thing um, it entertained us forever people started getting more and more creative and we started adding more and more stuff when somebody would have an idea then somebody else would have an idea we started putting signs and it was it was so fun I mean it was so much fun and I totally recommend that for anybody that they kind of get bored on Christmas it's like okay I watch TV talk drink you know it's more homey we don't have like a formal party or anything but that was just the best um, it got everybody in the spirit and everybody was part of something so that was really fun what do you like to do on your Christmas break? 
Well, um, I have not had a Christmas bake since I was in high school. So um, I'm normally working while everybody else is on break. But um, the couple of days that I am off, um, it's either running around getting last minute presents, cooking for Christmas, or the following day um, enjoying our presents and gifts and just uh, spending time lounging around with family. Any Christmas wishes? Um, well, of course, to have all my family here at Christmas and for everybody to be healthy and um, everybody to be healthy and happy. That's what my Christmas wishes are. Favorite Christmas smell? That's, that's going to be a toss-up. Um, I'm going to say between cinnamon, which I just, I really don't like it, but for some reason in Christmas I do. It's just very holiday-ish smell to me. Even though some of the stores, like I went into Michael's and my nose almost fell off because of all those cinnamon brooms right in the front and it just like hit, oh my, excuse me, I hiccup. It hit me as I, I opened the door and like this gush of wind came followed by a punch in the face of cinnamon and it, just, it gave me an instant headache. It was the funniest thing, but um, a nice candle burning of cinnamon is great or cinnamon tea. My mom will make tea and then she'll put cinnamon sticks in there and it just fills the whole house up. And the second scent is pine from the Christmas trees. Oh my gosh, it's a tie, but I really think now that I think about it, the Christmas tree smell is just, oh my gosh, gets you, gets me so excited. That's a wonderful smell. And the last question is favorite Christmas meal or treat? Well, this is kind of, this might be where my answer is a little bit different. Um, of course, well not of course, I come from a Mexican American family and so our tradition is to eat tamales. Of course we do have the traditional ham with all the fixings, but we do tamales and rice. <clears throat> and tamales, just real quick, is like a, a corn husk. We put um, like a masa in there and masa is like, um, it's just a mixture of corn mashed. Um, I don't even know how to describe it really. But anyway, it lines um, the inside of the corn husk and then we put um, flavored pork, like meat inside. A lot of people put, di not a lot of different things, but um, people, some people started putting chicken in there, which is kind of gross to me, but we put flavored pork in there and then you wrap it up and then you steam it. And then it comes out um, and it is so good, it's so tasty. So anyway, that is our treat. And here, living in Texas, we have Mexican restaurants all over the place where you can get the malas every day if you want, you know, 365, but there are nobody's tamales, like my grandma's tamales. So I hold out all year long. I don't ever order tamales at all until Christmas Eve. It's the one day that I eat tamales. And then she, my grandmother, I'm not even kidding, makes 25 to 30 dozen tamales. And then um, we eat that on Christmas Eve and then she gives like a couple of dozen to each one of us, like our kids. And well, now that I'm on my own, she gives some to my mom and then she gives us a couple of dozen now. So I get my own couple of dozen. And so we'll eat those for like the, you know, morning, you know, for Christmas morning and then so forth. So that is really great. And um, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy hearing my responses and I would love to hear your responses. And I hope everybody's doing good and having not going crazy with all this shopping. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everybody, and happy holidays.